Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about component did update lifecycle method. In previous video, we learned about component did mount method by name. They might be a uh, little bit uh, similar, but when we use them, they both are totally different, right? So these are the points for this video. First of all, we will learn when it will called and how we can use this method. Then uh, we will make class component. Actually, I already created a class component, right? So that we can just save the time. Uh, then we will uh, play with the states and props uh, uh, within this uh, component did update method. And uh, this method will also provide the previous props and state. What is that? And how we can use them we will learn this thing also and uh, i will provide you the answer of previous question which is as i asked in the last video and um, again i will ask one more question you can attempt this in a comment box and this is my insta account if you just want to join me on insta so uh, now let's uh, see that when it will cold so let's look out on this diagram so as we know there's a three phase for uh, uh, life cycle of any component mounting updating and uh, unmounting right so this actually fall inside uh, uh, updating and it will cold when any probes or any state of a component will be updated right it will automatically cold right so now what is the use of it so sometime we need that whenever a state is updated or a probes is actually getting update then we want to perform some operation right uh, let's say we just want to update some another state or we just want to uh, update some style and all right that time this method is very useful we can perform uh, any kind of operation inside it yes we can update a state also inside a componented mount but we must have to use a conditional update for a state right if we update state without condition then it will just go inside an infinite loop I will show you uh, how we can use a, a update state inside this component did update right so uh, now let's see whenever it will call for that i am just going to make this uh, component did uh, update and making three console inside a constructor render and a component did mount so that we can just get to know whenever when they are actually calling right so just write here uh, console one and simply put here um, uh, component did update my bad and uh, then uh, let's write here a render and again we can just do it inside a constructor now whenever you will reload this uh, screen then you will find that first constructor will call then render will call but component did update will not going to call because this will be called whenever any state or props will update I will show you so let's uh, refresh it and uh, you can see that constructor and render is called but component did update is actually not called so when it will call on a state update so let's check this dot uh, state and let's define a state let's say name and uh, let's say by default name is anil right and i'm just going to print this state here this dot state dot so will now this method will call no because we just initialized the state we did not update it yet right so when we can do it we can do it on a button click so just uh, put here update name or something and now let's define a event on click and uh, now just uh, put here this dot set state name is like uh, Sidhu from Anil right and uh, now you will see that whenever we will update this state this method will be called here so let's say I'm just going to click on it and uh, you can see that component did update will call so render is obviously calling every time whenever any state update or uh, any component is mounted and unmounted and all right so I already made a video on it if you just want to check out then link is given in the description box right so now to just uh, uh, make it more uh, visibility and uh, for uh, easy way i'm just going to remove everything and you can see that whenever we will update this uh, state every time component update will be 
code right so what happen if uh, we will just uh, update on any state on it right so let's say i have a counter uh, count and its initial value is 0 and i just want to update it uh, and without condition inside a component it update so just simply put here this dot set state and just put here a counter and counter will be increased by the value 1 right so we can just simply put here this dot uh, state dot counter count sorry my bad I don't need to just use here this we can just simply put here counter and now we can use here this dot state dot counter plus one right and uh, let's print this counter here this dot state dot count and uh, you will find that whenever I will click on it it will go inside an infinite loop here you can see that it will just uh, update it on a 53 time then uh, react actually realize that uh, this is an infinite loop that's why it actually provide this error right all right that's okay but how we can resolve this issue so we can just provide any condition here like if uh, this dot state dot count less than 10 then we can just simply update it right and uh, now whenever I will click on it then you can see that whenever the value of this state will be gonna 10 it will automatically stop the updating because of this condition with that way we can use uh, uh, state update inside a component did update also right all right that's great so one more thing uh, in a component mount uh, method we have a three parameters i just want to show on official documentation here you can see that right previous probes will provide you the just last probes previous state will provide you the just previous state and a snapshot it will by default uh, if you just want to access it, it will just always it will uh, provide you undefined if you are not using the get snapshot before update right so about this parameter i will tell you in the video when i will just make a video on a get snapshot before update because now if you just want to get a third parameter it will just give you the undefined as mentioned here right so now let's uh, look out on these things so first of all let's use here prev props right you can use any word like last props previous props any uh, anything that you want right it's not necessary that just use only previous props then use your previous state and a snapshot and you will find that the snapshot is always undefined because we are not uh, using actually uh, mm, get snapshot before update lifecycle right and uh, now let's see you can see that every time this is actually undefined right which is which is the third parameter so now uh, what I just want to do I just want to show that uh, this is provide the previous state so that I am just going to update here a counter so that I can just show you it on click right this dot state dot uh, count plus one and if you just see here previous state you will find that this previous state will provide you the previous value right so just see here whenever you will click on it okay I just uh, need to remove this now whenever i will click on it you can see that the value of uh, our uh, current counter is one but here it's actually showing the zero like this right with that way you can now see this is a six but there is a five so we can just get the previous value also right so if you just, sometime we just want to compare it let's say if the both value previous and current value are the same then we can perform some operations if the different then we can perform some another operation kind of things we can put a this condition and all kind of things right so that's all about this video so it's a time for the previous videos question i asked can we uh, update the state inside a render no this is not a good idea because it will just make a infinite loop like uh, 
component did mount without condition right all right so can we use uh, a state with the with the condition you can use but this is not recommended right if you just want to put any condition then you can put inside a component did update never ever update any state inside a render according to uh react and the facebook community because uh, uh, it can be give you the infinite loop and uh, if you just use their condition then still it can be just give some problems and all right so thanks for watching this video and uh, if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box also all right so now again one more thing the question for uh, this video can we uh, call apis inside component did update this is recommended or not right so you can answer this and uh, one more thing i just want to uh, provide you the answer because this is a basically interview question sometime um, in the interviews they ask that can we stop componented update yes you can stop if component should update will return false right this component uh, should component update is still pending in this series i will just make this video a uh, soon on component uh, should component update also right so that time i will show you this example also so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care